more interest in her position. This is an amazing Martian meteorite that broke off of the Martian surface. There was some sort of massive asteroid strike. And we know there have only been 19 asteroid strikes big enough to eject a piece like this off of the surface of the planet. So it comes hurtling through space, you know, 140 million miles through space, makes it through Earth's atmosphere. and. And something to note, um, you know, most things burn up when they're coming through the Earth's atmosphere. You know, the spacecrafts, the Apollo astronauts had to have a massive heat shield on the bottom of those spacecraft. So it's incredible that it made it through and then that it crashed in the middle of the desert instead of the middle of the ocean in a place where we could find it and that somebody who could recognize what it was found it. So there's a whole kind of process or a, a layer of things that have to happen in order for this to become reality and, and be here in front of us. They didn't know it was Martian. They knew it was just a meteorite at first. And this is what they do. They go out in the desert and they look for meteorites. They try to find things like this. So they, uh, they actually called our consigner who has a relationship with that person and, and has told them, you know, if you find anything amazing, give me a call. So their first call was to our consigner who got on an airplane and flew straight out and was out in the desert in tents you know, working on getting this out of uh, the country it was found in. And um, it caused quite a stir. You know, you, you do have to be careful uh, because often things like this are found in countries where people do not have a lot of means. So you don't, you know, you find a giant bag of gold. You're not, you're not gonna go walk down the street in New York and go have a bag of gold, right? So you have to be kind of quiet about it, but, um, you know, some buzz did get out and people started getting nervous about it. So, so the people there knew already that it was something special just by the fact that it was a meteorite and that it was big. It wasn't until it got to the lab and pieces were tested that we realized, oh my gosh, it's Martian. And then when those results came back and we compared and saw, it, okay, it's not just Martian, it is the biggest piece of Mars on the planet. So luckily those details were figured out <laughs> when they were no longer in the middle of the desert.
The estimate is two to four million dollars. And luckily with meteorites, unlike a lot of the other items I sell, we do have a lot of price indications. And um, looking at all the different meteorites that have sold, they generally have a price per gram. So the, the estimate of two to four million is actually quite conservative for the price per gram for a Martian meteorite of this type.